have a look Let's around? Let's have a look. Okay. So, so obviously we've got all of our, our living. Exactly. So we've got dining, kitchen, living all in the one big area. Um, the kitchen is centrally located primarily so that the dining area can spill to the outside. the outside. So we've got this seamless indoor outdoor thing happening, which means that, you know, Christmas time, you can have a massive table, 40 people, no problem. Um, so that was intentionally located at the edge within this courtyard. And that, I guess, would be quite protected then to save you from the that suddenly wind coming exactly. through. Exactly. At the other side of the house, we've got our living area, which is where it's a more passive, quiet area that fronts onto the view. So, um, where do you spend most of your time? Look, all three spaces yeah. are very used. Yeah. Um, so you know, again, traditionally, when you build a big home, you've got your formal lounge dining, yeah. which nobody ever goes into. <laughs> yeah. It's illogical. I know. So, absolutely. But, but because this is a one big space, um, I didn't want to feel like I was sitting in the kitchen yeah. the whole time. So that was the driving. Um, factor behind these timber screens. So these are fantastic. So, I love this idea. Yeah, so the way they work is um, when you're wanting to do hardcore cooking, you- Are open... you a hardcore cooker? My yes. husband. Oh, really? Yes, husband. Andrew takes over. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can do all his cooking here. Wow. Um, this is the fridge. Fridge oh, great, freezer. so that's all integrated. That's so that's cool. all, you know, not much in there because, again, you know. Just the good stuff, just some bubbles. The wine and yeah. cheese is pretty much all that's in there, exactly. So, um, so, yeah, so when we're doing cooking, Andrew can be preparing food in there. Um, and then when we've got visitors, we, you know, we tend to leave this part open while yeah. we're actually serving the meal. Yeah. But at the end of the meal, we can close, close that off. screen, put all the dirty dishes and everything in behind there and then we're back to nice clean kitchen How again wonderful. so this side we use for breakfast um oh, so I, love, I just love that in itself that you've thought about i guess the two different sides yeah. and uses of your kitchen exactly so you can have breakfast here coffee toast Fantastic. all of that sort of stuff um you know and then again when you're finished you can just pack it all away and you know there's no mess Gosh, that's so good. Yeah. I love it. So the other nice thing about these screens is that at night there's lighting that's built into here. Oh, lovely. And so in the evening when the screens are closed, they oh, act a bit like a lantern. Through. Oh, beautiful. So, you know, one of the things we try very hard to do is one object, two, two uses. I love it. Instead of a single use for an object. So these screens conceal the kitchen but act as a light in the evening as well. Oh, I love that. You've created yeah. an artwork, Viv. Yeah, it's a bit like that. So, <laughs> and the builder built these himself, which wow. is really special. So, what builder did you use? Um, Lisney Constructions. Lisney local, Constructions. Local builder. Wow. Two have very, you worked with them a lot? We have since then, yeah. yes. Yeah, since then, they did a good job there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's um, what you like to hear. So that's the kitchen. Wow. Um, I, do you know what? This, I keep looking at this because this is just beautiful the way that you pour on this light. Is that start, like a full, that full yes, thing? Yes. Yeah. Wow. So basically, um, yeah, that lets light in. Sort of indirect light, you know, is a beautiful way of lighting the space, bringing light in. Yeah. Um, especially as obviously being a semi, there's no windows on yeah. that side, so it's sort of it's a glow it more so. It feel than, quite open. Yeah, it? exactly. And the walls, um, the walls, the ceilings, everything are not painted. So you um, were saying wax? Yes, it's actually beeswax. Beeswax. Yes, yeah. it's beautiful. The so finish rendered and set, and then beeswax. So. When the gyp rockers, the plasterers, were doing that, the whole house smelt of bee. You know, it was amazing. Really? Yeah, because it's actually bees oh, wax. and it just there's just something about it that just feels so harsh. It's very natural. And, yeah, texture. it really is. Yeah, it's yeah, lovely. Yeah. yeah, great. Because so, so often you can see some of these sort of greyer sort of surfaces and concretes, and they can feel quite cold. But it's got such a lovely. It's warm. To it. It's lovely. Everybody wants to touch yeah, it. Yeah, I know? felt bad. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's stroking all your walls. Yeah, that's what I would want everybody to touch everything. That's I great. I love that. Yeah, oh so, my goodness. And yeah. so, like, I just can't like this. This space keeps is changing. Um, There's so many yachts coming past, and people <laughs> in kayaks, and people swimming. It's just it's so, a really active. Um, it's so active. Yeah. So this <gasps> space is only four and a half meters wide. It's actually right. quite small. 
but in it fact you can it. you can seat quite a lot of people in here yeah. and you know um, and entertain in a nice relaxed way. The other interesting thing about the house is that, again, it's meant to be a zero maintenance house. Yeah. Um, so externally, the walls are sealed. Um, that has a, an external sealer and the walls are zinc. So the walls and the ceiling and the roof are all a single seam zinc yeah. material. So no maintenance, no painting, that's no so good. lock it up and go overseas. Well, that's so good. pre-COVID, that yeah. was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then these windows and doors are, um, you might have already seen this before in your travels. They're from Vitroxa. Um, right. And they're a Swiss invention. What they are is that, um, all the tracks are recessed down into the floor um, so that you'll see the actual door itself has no railing here right. so that when the um, you know when the doors are all closed the the inside and the outside is completely seamless that's beautiful so they're a really terrific door system and generally the shape of the entire uh, dwelling is governed by trying to maximize northern sun yeah so all the skylights um, that face north to bring the sunlight in. Um, it's still quite early in the morning, so you know the sun hasn't quite come around because we're on the western side. Yeah. Um, but most importantly, every skylight has an external blind. And external blinds are critical because in summer, you need to be able to completely yeah. close it off. So yeah. light is great in a home, but it's got to be controlled. Yeah. Very, very important. So then the TV is um, recessed in wow. here. So oh. that's where the TV sits. Oh, hello. So TV. Oh, you're a, you're a smart cookie, you know. Oh, babe. <laughs> so so oh, it's like, yeah. oh, lie like, where's down, the TV? Watch, where's the and TV? And you know what? Because it would be almost sacrilegious to put a TV on the wall here because yeah. you've just got this view. Yeah, exactly. So that's fantastic. So the TV is recessed and we have a fabulous oh. sound system but that's all recessed up into the ceiling. So right. it was very intentional that there is nothing on the ceiling, no, no speakers or anything like wow. that. So that's all completely recessed. By the way, door. can I just say your artwork is sensational. Yeah, like a... these pieces are just beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is an amazing study. So he works from home um, and what he does is he does a lot of recordings. So this oh. space has been designed to completely oh, lock up. Sound. So oh, when oh. I close this off, you can hear oh, um, that it's quite sound, um, you know, the sound stays in here. And I then, love the curtain detail. Yeah. Oh, and recessed again. Into and the, the curtains oh, are, I'll just pull this out here as well to show you. So oh. again, acoustics are important and the whole thing basically oh. closes up to become a, a space in itself. That's smart. Um, so yeah, so this oh. is Andrew's study. Um, wow. the, the little mirror is placed oh. over in that corner to make the, the space sort of expand beyond where the space actually is. I love that because so, I was looking at that and I was even unsure. I was like, oh, hang on, this, am I looking out through? It just extends your garden. Exactly. That view. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, so that's just a small little detail. And it completely doubles it. Makes it, it does. Yeah, it's yeah. A, exactly. and, the, um, and the mirror has been placed in that sort of weird location so that when Andrew's sitting down working, he can look out at the view. That's the intention there. Oh, so. my goodness. <laughs> I love that you thought of that. That's yeah, fantastic. So, and then this is glass. Again, the idea behind it is because this is such a small space, you, you know, you're borrowing the hallway as yeah. well, you know, to make the space feel larger. So what the idea behind this is, is that this is our, our guest bathroom. So we have our basin and to the right is, um, is the toilet. 
So now when um, a visitor comes and they want to use the toilet, they are in here and they close the door. Oh, hello. But that reveals the laundry. I love that. I love everything. Oh, I love everything. <laughs> Viv, I want to live here. Oh my goodness, that's so, so smart. This has a very, this is what I was saying before, there's a bit of a Japanese it sensibility. Is very, exactly. Sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, it's almost, I mean, you'd call it tiny home living, but I would not call this a tiny home. But that's the but same. It's, you know, space saving. Exactly, yeah. So look, you know, people have massive laundries, I know. Um, but at, at the end of the day, you really don't need, you yeah. know, I don't think, you know, and you know, this can be closed and you can be operating quite nicely so that this corridor that. space again has a double function yeah. is the idea. Oh, that is just really smart. So it's such an interactive home. Yeah, lots of things that open and yeah, close. Beautiful. So speaking of which, behind you is what we call our secret door. <gasps> So you can open that for a secret door. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's got a good weight to it. Yes. Oh. And then in through here. Oh, so yes. That gets you through to what car? To the garage. Actually, we can fit four cars in this space. Um, so, so we go down. Down, exactly. Oh my yeah. goodness, there's more. Yeah. So there's two cars below. Not that we have four cars. But when we yes. have visitors, we can put our cars down oh, and then the visitors it. can park in the... Um, oh, that's yeah. amazing. So the stampers used to be um, a super expensive thing, but these days, again, space saving. Yeah. More and more of our clients are putting in these stampers. Wow. Yeah, so they're really good. It's good that you've got a side-by-side -side one as well. It means you don't yeah. have to go up and down just if you've got your own yeah, two cars. Yeah, that would be, yeah. Two cars. It's only an occasional thing or if you've got a couple of special visitors. cars, yeah. Yeah, because, um, you know, parking here is really yeah. difficult. Yeah. yeah. Right. So um, it means if we've got guests, they don't have to rush home. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. I love it. And you wouldn't be rushing home. Yeah. You <laughs> wouldn't want to rush home. So, Dan, we won't go down there. That's all but my basement. But you've got basement more um, basement. Gosh, that's fantastic. Massive amount. Oh, my God, that's my nightmare space. So okay, I'm we're going to take it down that. there. But yes. it's a nice big basement space, it's everybody. Huge, <laughs> huge. All my, all my junk oh, down my there. Goodness. Everybody needs a junk room. Exactly. Tell you what. All right, well, let's go up. Up. Beautiful. Oh, the little you. cactus garden out here. Small garden. Lovely. Um, again, low maintenance with the cactus. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and these are, um, you know, louvers that allow you again to, you know, it, it sucks through. all the hot air out of the house. So yeah. they open and close. This, I have to show there. you, this is my most favourite thing in the whole house. This oh, light fitting here. Beautiful. So this is designed by Peter Zumthor, who is, um, I think, one of you know, the world's most amazing architects. Um, we saw it in his thermal baths in Val. Wow. And I was just so taken with that light fitting, just in terms of its just sheer, functional, but beautiful quality. Yeah. It is only what it needs to be and no more. So that's kind of very inspirational for us wow. with the house. Again, this wardrobe here has been designed to, again, maximise the feeling of space. So I guess a traditional wardrobe, you would imagine, is blocked all the way down. Yeah. Um, but what we've done here is we've got, um, you know, still quite adequate space for what would be a normal wardrobe. Yeah. Um, and then drawers at the bottom for, you know, other bits and pieces. So, but just with that middle piece cut out, um, what that allows you to do is to use that as a shelf for different things, um, as well as bring lighting into the, yeah. into the room. So that's got lighting in it as well. Gosh, that's a lovely bathroom. Look at that light streaming through above yeah. the shower. So, and then that mimics what's happening on the floor here as well with those tim that timber detail. Yeah, it's actually um, showering on that um, decking. Gives a lovely indoor outdoor. Doesn't it? Feel, yeah, you know? it absolutely does. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So that is um, plantation teak. So we're always very, very careful when we're specifying timber to make sure that it's not um, rainforest timber. You right. know, because um, most teak is rainforest, but of course that's something that we really, really don't want to use. 
um, and that is a plantation tea. Right. So it's super, super important for everybody just to make sure that it's, yeah. that's what they select, you know. Oh, I love that. And you, I mean, I love your materials. It's so simple. Yes. But, and I love your consistency throughout. So this is a, a guest bedroom in here. Wow. This actually was one house originally. One house which we demolished. Yeah. Um, and together with um, our very, very close friends, we did a, a combined development. So both of these homes are Torrens titles, so there is no strata, so we're not responsible for any of each other's things. Um, and we said to them that at, uh, at the end of the project, we would toss a coin to see who gets which side. Right, um, but they are identical. Identical, yeah. yeah. So you can see they're identical, but they're staggered. Um, but what happened in real life was that halfway through the project, they were so fabulous to deal, you know, yeah. partners. We said to them, you choose whichever side oh, you want wow. So they chose the Eastern side, um, mainly because, you know, they sort of like the early morning light and yeah. that's what they wanted. And so we have the western side, which, you know, we I don't think you've lucked out at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd be happy with either or either. Very happy. But you'll notice what's interesting here is that this handrail does not follow the alignment yeah. of the deck. So the deck is acting as mainly a um, entrance canopy because our front right. door is underneath there. Um, so structurally, this is... So it's a, it, the concrete goes all the way out to there. So what happened was when we were designing, we do everything in 3D. All our, all our design, everything is in our 3D computer program. Mm -hmm. And when the handrail was placed um, out on that alignment, we realised that we would be able to overlook their property. And so oh, what right. we decided to do was Pull bring the back. handrail in so as to protect each other's privacy. Gosh, I love that you've thought of it. Yeah, and I mean, so, you are best friends, but you've got to think about the longevity of the house as well. And, yeah, you know, other still, people may be inhabiting it and you don't want to intrude. You so. know, you, you want to make sure when you're building something like this that, um, yeah, everybody's privacy is absolutely maintained. Very thoughtful. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Oh, I've got like... I just got chills. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So very, again, you know, trying oh. to maintain a calm, tranquil vibe. Um, wow. And, you know, the sort of, normally I suppose you would put a bathroom in a box, for want of a better word. But here, oh you know, goodness. you're constantly connected to the view. So the idea was that the bathroom is open, you know, so that when you're, when you're in the bathroom, which is a lot of the time, you know, getting ready, oh. Um, you can still see the view. So the way this works is that um, a no, shower normally amazing. occupies a lot of space, right? So the idea is that when you're wanting to have a shower, you can pull all of these out um, and then that gives you, you know, you can have a shower in this space, again, looking out wow. at the view. Uh, but when you're not using the shower, you can sort of close the whole thing up. So again, trying to maximise that feeling of space. And then behind um, this door is actually the oh, toilet pod. Gosh, I love that you've thought, oh my goodness. Oh so my goodness. Oh is, my goodness. <laughs> oh, don't. I'm freaking out. And my mouth is not even like shut the entire time. I'm really <laughs> down here. So this is the uh, wardrobe. Can I open it? Yes, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> So the idea behind this wardrobe is that, um, you know, traditionally wardrobes are, have got carcasses, you know, yes. that's the normal thing. Whereas this wardrobe, obviously wow. you can see doesn't, it's more like a shop front sort it of situation. Like a shop. You know, and the and way it's centralised around this sort of ottoman as well, you yeah. just oh my goodness. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and the idea as well is that all the, you know, the fixtures and fittings hang on brackets. So that if at any time you want to change... Oh, it is like a shop front. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's so clever. You know, and So actually, you've got a racking system. Exactly, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, so my next door neighbour, for example, wanted slightly different... Configuration. Um, exactly, or if you want to change it in the future, 
then the brackets can basically I move up and down. That. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So that's... it works actually. Like it's very functional and oh my gosh, sort of you know so easy good. to change. And then on this side we have because everybody says, "Oh, you know, where's all your uh, bathroom stuff?" You know, because oh, everybody yes. has bathroom stuff. Oh, so that's here all it is. on that side. Oh. Oh, yeah. look. So all this the... Is, this oh, is, yes, my... Um, this is because where you live. <laughs> Snorkeling. Oh, my gosh. I love it. So, you know... I just love... It's oh, really... my God. How good a bed? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I've got a bed now. Oh, my yeah. bed as well. Oh, my favourite shoes. <laughs> They're so comfy. They're really great. Oh, my God. Which ones have you oh, got? God, which ones have you got? So then oh. this is sort of designed so that when you're standing at the basin, you can look at the view as well. Oh. So, <laughs> you know, that. adjustable. This curtain tracks along here. And basically that then conceals what's going on in the beyond. I love how it also billows with the wind coming yeah. through and the breeze. That's lovely. So, and then, you know, here's another one of these um, manually operated windows so that you can just have, again, a bit more fresh air. You can control oh, wow. that breeze and things like that. Um, and then, you know, a lot of people say to me, yeah, great view, but how do you close off this bedroom? Yeah. So this is the last thing I'm going to show you now. Oh my gosh. So these doors. Oh. Oh, wow. Gosh. That's it. And then, so again, wow. it's that same thing of one object having the two functions. So they are wardrobe doors sometimes, but then they're bedroom doors other times. So I you just, can close off the whole space as well. I just love that. And yeah. I mean, for the most part, would you even close them or like when how we're do having, you close them? Um, so, you know, if we've got visitors, let's say, yeah. you know, or if one of our kids comes and stays with us because they're doing something, they're renovating, whatever they're yeah. doing, uh, then we will close it at night. We will. Yeah. So wow. um, that yeah. is just, I am blown away. Great. Well, small is, small is good. Oh, you know? just, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even begin to explain how impressed I am. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, please do mind. And then this silly thing here, I just explain what this is as well. Like, I don't know if oh. you can see it, but, um, you know, this bedroom faces due south, but I couldn't bear the idea of never having any northern light. So there is a time uh, so of can... the day where oh, this right. aligns with that skylight and then the, the sun comes down and pours into wow. there. It's really nice. Oh, but then yeah. I can close it as well, you know, if I want the privacy to that bedroom. Is that what 37 years of architectural experience <laughs> gets you? you know, like, oh my um, goodness, this is how it's done, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for showing That's us a pleasure. your home. I really this appreciate you coming. absolute treat. Great. Oh my goodness. Great.